Hey everyone, or I should look at the camera. Hey everyone, this is Sol with another video, and uh, I wanted to give, um, I guess I just wanted to take some time during stream right now to, to do a quick recording and talk about Torghast and leave some feedback as to like my initial impressions as to what's going on. Run complete, final score zero, <laughs> talent points acquired uh, zero. Uh, but anyway, I want to give some feedback, uh, very, very early feedback. Because what we're checking out in Torghast right now is woefully incomplete. Uh, there is not a lot to look at, but there is a lot about. But there's quite a bit to experience, and I've done a couple of runs here. I've, I've done a couple of climbs. I did my best to get uh, five gems on an eleven run, and nope, not happening. It's <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, and I think a lot of it is because, again, not everything is implemented. Uh, there are certain things like talents and whatnot that I can pour, I, I can pour like points into. I'm not even quite sure if I can see it as a currency yet. Um, tower knowledge. Okay, here we go. Tower knowledge. Manifestation of knowledge gained in Torghast used to unlock the power of the box of many things. It's a talent thing that makes it so that my score or whatnot can get a little bit higher. And I think I should show like just what this whole score thing is about with a screenshot that I sort of have um, that I can sort of share right over here. So this was a complete run of a four that I did. I didn't die at all. I still have like three lives and, and all that stuff. So I got four gems out of it. My completion uh, percentage was night. Well, you know, I had ninety three percent. I missed stuff. Mobs might have stayed alive. Maybe urns weren't broken. Souls might not have been safe. But I got ninety three points, which seems to be, as a first impression, the biggest contributor uh, towards getting a decent score. But of course, if you uh, if you are fast, then then you do better. Uh, the time taken, you can kind of see here. It's at 2,416 seconds with a part time, an average time of 2,220 seconds. So I was a little bit over time. If I was under time, this 20 points probably would be like a little bit higher. And then the time percentage spent in hot streak was absolutely terrible because I was killing things uh, pretty, pretty slowly. I wasn't really chaining mobs or otherwise fighting a bunch of things um, at once. Uh, and so I guess, I guess it, I, I'm not quite sure how this time percentage spent in hot streak how that really plays into like much of anything is it relative to like the actual time that i'm inside uh this gas climb or something like that so uh, so i'm not sure but anyway uh there are a lot of folks uh, there are folks around the internets i i know that mike uh from preach gaming he had a video that just kind of eviscerated Torghast in its current form and i think it's rightfully so i haven't seen it myself uh but there are uh clear gripes that's um that i probably share with uh with other folks but at the moment torgas doesn't feel different it doesn't feel like it's it's really added um added anything because again this is like really early and i want to give it a chance but let me describe uh, one of the bigger um one of the bigger complaints that people have noticed it's the it's the it's this new torment system <laughs> and I played through these. They're they're awful. As in, boy, these can be uh, incredibly, incredibly punishing. So let me describe these. Unstable phantasma. Phantasma will periodically coalesce and attempt to escape with your phantasma. So even if you're out of combat, and I've seen it happen out of combat, this blob will appear. It's going to take your phantasma based on a percentage of how much phantasma that you have. So sometimes it'll be like, oh, it took 20 phantasma or it took 60 phantasma uh, and you got to kill it, which kind of screws things up because you're trying to kill other mobs. You might be fighting other things, but now you got to chase this thing because you don't want to lose your uh, you don't want to lose your phantasma. Next one, supernatural power. Unnatural power is significantly stronger. Now, as a reminder, unnatural power is something that applies to elite mobs as well as the dude or dudette at the end of a floor. So having this thing get stronger, encountering something like this, we're on the upper reaches right now, encountering something like the Moss Warren Interceptor in an empowered form with a buff like this, it makes things really tough, even with decent gear. I have an item level of 220 right now, which I guess is like, I would guess is like pretty good uh, for something like this. But even as a tank, I'm just kind of getting smoked. 
Twisted Magic. Magic damage done is increased by 15% for all players and enemies. This is something that I think is a I think this is a more fair uh, kind of torment to deal with because it's kind of a kiss curse. It's like, okay, cool, I do more damage. Oh, great, they do more damage. And so something like that might uh, might cause me to alter how I use my legendaries or my soul binds or my talents or, or what have you. But I think this one is like you know, one of the more tame sorts of torments. Then we have uh, reinforced Doom Conduits. Elite enemies periodically summon Doom Conduits while in combat. If you think about Diablo 3 and you think about those arcane enchanted things where, you know, woo, you know, a little orb pops up and then, you know, you get cut. Uh, same thing happens here, but it looks black. Uh, that's kind of how that goes. And then Hardened. Non-elite enemies have 50% <clears throat> increased health. Fortified. So they applied... <laughs> They applied some Mythic Plus type of fixes uh, into Torghast. All five of these are active right now, um, and it makes uh, and it makes climbs uh, definitely tougher. So, on the one hand, I feel more engaged. I feel challenged. I feel like that I'm um, that I have to try a little bit harder in order to overcome and, and, and climb through and fight my way through all these bad guys. But on the other hand, for those of you at home and elsewhere. Who just want to get through and get that soul ash grinding through and trying to push uh past all of these things for the sake of you getting those soul or getting the soul ash or the soul cinders uh that can be really tough and i should state right now that uh based on the math and, and what i've seen in order to you know clearing a 12 if you clear a 12 of torgas in these cell blocks you get a grand total of Oh shucks, I think my math is going to be bad, but I think you get a little bit under 1200 soul ash. Um, no, actually, I, actually, I think a little bit around 1200, 1260 soul ash if you do both cell blocks. That's, you know, that, that's what I speculate right now uh, based on uh, based on the numbers that we see. So it's not that great um, in terms of, hey, if do you want to get soul ash faster, I'm not quite sure how to do it yet. But again, I, and I know I gotta keep reminding folks, this is still like a really, really early look. It's just that right now, uh, these torments, I feel like when it comes to players that just want to go in and get their ash and cinders, I don't think these torments should really be much of a thing, or at least uh, they should be much, much tamer than what they are right now. Um, one thing that I heard from a suggestion on stream is that at the very least, hey, we should at least see what sorts of torments are active like on uh, the map here. So like if we hover over this, we should see like the kinds of torments uh, that we can see. Um, but more so, I think there ought to be a way to instead of just walk in and have these torments be forced on you, I think that it should be a toggle of some sort. So. You know, like let's say you're right here. You're at the. You, know, you want to select your stage. Cool. I want to do. Uh, you know, I want to do an eleven, and then there should be like a a checkbox: torment on, torment off, um, something like that, and 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 like that's it. Um, the require. I know that the requirements to get to layer twelve, you need to um, get like a really high score and all that. But I think that it should just be a lot more accessible. Just if people want to get, just go in and get their ash, let them do it. As for score, we still don't quite know the context of what score is going to mean. Is score going? Is a high score going to get me gear? No. Is it going to get me an achievement? Is it going to get me a title, transmog, uh, stuff like that? Hey, that'd be cool. Um, but at the moment, I just don't know. Um, or if you can, po I, I, I think back to a game like Hades. It's something that I referred to when I was first talking about for guest improvements and things like that, where before you open up your screen, you can choose the different kinds of torments or the different kinds of difficulty, whether you add some of these torments or if you want to reduce your maximum life or if you only want um, uh, two anima powers to appear instead of you know, two choices of anima powers instead of, uh, instead of three, something like that. I think those kind of go a long way towards, hey, maybe getting a higher score or being able to unlock stuff. Uh, things like that could be cool. Um, but again, this is really early. Uh, and, and I know that there are a lot of people that are like, that are like really upset over uh, the idea of torment. So, so I think it's important to 
to give this sort of feedback. I think that they should be toggleable uh, for the sake of uh, those who don't care about this score at all. Some people want Chorgast to just be a chore. That's fine. They don't want to be challenged. They just want to go through the motions, get that ash or cinders, and then get out. For those of us who want to feel that challenge and go through like this whole pain in the ass thing of dealing with these torments, I think that's totally fine, but I think it should be a choice too. Even at the very end, uh, with that whole score screen, let me try to um, let me try to pull that uh, back up. Even with the score screen, I would love to know like a little bit more transparency as to like, hey, how how can you know, how can I get a high score? For those of us, sorry about that. For those of us who do, who do want to get a high score, like how exactly do we do it? From the looks of it, it's you know, kill everything, click everything, free all the souls, do all that stuff. Um, but you know, seeing a score, I'm sure. Again, PTR stuff. Uh, I'm sure that seeing a score would help with the transparency of how our performance is doing at the time. You know, dying will probably knock us off. Uh, will, will, will definitely knock us down. And I do think that on a on a more fundamental level, uh, or at least you know from a straight up Torghast gameplay level, I think it would help a lot if when we start these climbs of ours, that at the very beginning we should just see a selection of a fairly wide selection of either epic powers or just handpicked powers that compel us to be like okay this is the kind of build that we're going to go for i think right now it's a bit too random um to the point where it's like okay i don't i don't quite have an identity with my build yet i think it i think it should lean towards okay cool this is what i'm gonna focus on for this climb because one of the big one of the one of the seemingly big changes in Torghast, at least at the moment, is that there's only five floors to climb now instead of uh, instead of six. So you have your first two floors, then you have your broker floor where you buy some powers. You have one more floor after that, and then you get this boss floor, and then you get a bonus floor, I think. Still not quite sure how all that stuff works. One of the big problems that uh, people have... Uh, I've talked about is that they don't feel like they can really enjoy the powers before their climb is over. And now that the climb is even shorter, it makes that uh, a little bit tougher. So I know that we haven't seen new powers yet. And because of that, even my request to have, um, you know, hey, let's have a bigger selection of powers so that way people can enjoy them more. Um, it's not something that's that's going to manifest at all, not until they put in uh, these new Torghast powers, assuming that uh, that's the thing that's going to come. And I think it is, if uh, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, someone on stream just had a suggestion, and I'm thinking to myself, well, with this talent tree that is coming, I feel like that can almost replace all of like you know the doo doo powers, <laughs> you know, just, just just the basic ones that like give health. Uh, and like small damage increases or at the very least I know that internally there's kind of like a limit to how many of a certain power that you get like you can't get 50 of the health ones um, or or maybe you can but there are some where there's like a certain cap to it like the lens of enclaver like I think that in theory you can't get any more than three of them stacked at once because after that it just stops dropping I think in the I think in the case of like really basic powers, this is something that 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 Blizzard can do too. Just make it so that these really basic powers either stop dropping, or they have a lower threshold, so that way uh, it makes room for other cooler powers to appear. Uh, and I think that should be the emphasis. If they're gonna make Torghast harder, right? If they're gonna make it harder, then they've got to equal. Then they've got to either one make it optional, so that way people who don't want to deal with that don't have to deal with that. But two, they, there's got to be kind of an equal arms race too. There's got to be like they really got to jack it up with the anima powers in terms of either availability or scale, and just make that stuff ridiculous. Uh, so that way, it's like, oh yeah, you know that elemental thing popped up and took my phantasma, but I'm gonna death grip that sucker in because my death grip lasts forever, and hopefully I'll live because not all of the death knights live. So for now, I want to leave it at that because 
this is really, really early. I remember when uh, Ian and Mike were first talking about this, uh, Ian was referring to Torghast as, oh, in an upcoming build, we're going to check out Torghast and yada, yada, yada. Um, I don't know if this current build is really what they wanted to show us. It just happened to be it because reasons. And maybe it won't change. Maybe this is what they intended to show us. And so um, keep giving the feedback. If we're going to rail on it, rail on it. Say it is. Say whatever it is that you need to say. I'm pulling myself back a little bit because I just want to learn more. But as for you know what I'm kind of speculating on and, and what I predict, I at least want to give uh, some of those takeaways. Make some of this stuff optional. Give us more ridiculous powers. Um, have a little bit more transparency on how our performance is doing. And please, oh please, try to communicate uh, just what it is that score is really going to mean in terms of... Uh, of a reward structure if there is going to be a reward structure because we don't know much on that either and i'd love for blizzard to present to us hey this is what's going to be all about here's a here's some gameplay stuff here's what's gonna you know here's a future build and um you know here's some of the things that you can work for and then present us with like a bunch of cool looking stuff to look at for us to be like whoa okay yeah i definitely want to go for that that seems really awesome uh so please i hope that we get uh more on this I don't want to give up on this feature yet. Um, so please leave a comment, leave some feedback. I just did. So feel free to, delete, to uh, do the same. Uh, that's going to be it for me. And I'll see you guys in the next build. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Mm -hmm.